Let's get it all on now. So this is us setting off for the retro rides. <laughs> and here's the problem with wearing a 1920s, a 1940s suit and an old brooch is your seatbelt totally gets in the way. I know why they didn't wear seatbelts. Oh my God. O-M-G, as they say in Canadian. Yeah. Well, we made it. <laughs> and now we have to find our friends. But it's just fabulous here. We texted Diane where she is and apparently she's in the vintage market. So we stopped in the vintage market and we couldn't find her. But apparently she's in another vintage market and there are several of them. And now we have to find a bouncy castle to go find the vintage market where Diane is. There's the bouncy castle. Great. We'll be right there. I found oh, Diane. Hi. <laughs> and Kelsey. Say hi Kelsey. Hi. <laughs> Now we're off to find, uh, do some shopping. We got rid of Robert. Yes, we've got rid of all the men. That's always a good thing. And we're going to go look around. Great, that's what we like doing. My phone is phone. She has her hat. I have my hat. What do you guys think? I love it. It's lovely. From this uh, vintage seller here. And uh, yeah, my first market. Thank you very much. And now we're off shopping some more. So Kelsey and I found a bunch of funny hats. Here, try this one on. I like this one. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my god. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Look now at I yourself right here in the mirror. You, oh, she's so cute. Hat, she? <laughs> she does. That she's yeah, super cute in that hat. So now we're off to find the guys in the cars. These pretty minis here. We don't know where the guys are, but we're sure we're going to find them somewhere around here. Okay, so when we buy 1940s authentic stuff, sometimes it breaks. That's right. That's right, Kelsey. And so Robert and Chris are about to fix my little handbag with a very, very subtle pair of pliers. Oh, thank you, my darling. Do you want to do the other one as well, Chris? <laughs> yeah, one's a bit <laughs> give, them, give them all no, a pinch, I'm Chris. Off, it's half off, half off. Might be worth pulling it off. And... She's slumming it. She's slumming it with me. <laughs> I'm not slumming it. I, you match up. Okay, so Kelsey and I are going to pick out the car that we're going to drive to Le Mans in two years' time. A, a sexy, idea. A sexy car. And Diane is saying it should be... Um, it should be a convertible, yeah, right? Definitely. So correct. let's have a look. No. That's not right. That's not vintagey enough. Okay. <laughs> look at this one. I know it's not it's not a convertible, but what about something like that? With Robert? Are you kidding? Me? Are you kidding me? With Robert, it's not going to make it. It's going to make it. Yeah. This one? The Zephyr no, thing? One. One oh, okay. That one is freaky. That's very freaky. Oh, I used to watch this program. Uh, I watched that program. Oh, yeah. So, Robert and I. Is this your choice? Maybe. It is sex on a So we're thinking maybe something like this. And Robert has called it sex on a stick. Oh yeah. So Kelsey, if we take this one to Le Mans, <laughs> would you like to be our co-pilot and sit in the back? Yeah. Oh, there isn't a back. You can sit on my lap, okay? <laughs> yeah, you can sit on my lap. I can shove myself in there. Oh, okay. Robert says it has a kissing mouth. Does it look like it has a kissing mouth? It does. Kind and of. it goes like this. You go like this. You go prune. <laughs> it's a fish. Prune. Yeah, prune. it is a fish. Yeah. So this is the one, you guys. This is the one we're going to take. This is the one we're going to take. A jag like this to Le Mans. Or maybe a jag like that. Or maybe a mini. 
<laughs> Maybe I need Looks like we've lost everybody for lunch because these guys are looking at the Jags. Kelsey's eating her crisps quite happily. No. Diane's on the phone. And I'm 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 in mini heaven. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but this lovely lady just came to me and told me I look amazing and gave me a rosette. Um <laughs> I can see it here for the best dress competition. I can't even believe this. Thank you so you much, sweetie. Oh wow. I shall see you there. See you there. Okay. You're not going to believe what just happened. What just happened? I just got stopped by these beautiful ladies who gave me a rosette and said I'm one of the best dressed ladies here and could I come at 4.30 to the tent to be judged. See this face? Do you don't see what you're noticing? A total lack of any feeling of surprise whatsoever. <laughs> to come look at the cars with me. The things I have to put up with. It was really tough to convince him Back to Back behind the arm. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm going to just drag him through the cars now. Look at that one. Wow. We're still trying to find the car that we should go to Le Mans with. You'll never guess what we found. Okay, Chloe's been dying to have a pacer. She's really literally been bugging us for a pacer forever. Look. Is Chloe just going to die when she sees this? Oh my god, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's actually Chloe, it's so ugly that it's it's nice. I must admit, maybe I was wrong. Let's see the inside. Oh, look at that. That's the front end she sent us? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Okay, so apparently she wants to buy one like this. Is it in Vancouver? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Okay. But it's an estate, I think, not a good place. Oh, okay. I'm at the beauty salon because I, I need to figure out how to wear this hat. And, and my lovely friend Sarah is going to put my hair out properly in the back so I can wear my hat. And I just ran into a fellow who says I have to have the badge over my left eye. So that's the proper way to do it. So now we're going to do it. Okay guys, that's me done. What do you think? Oh wow, that's so pretty in the back. Oh wow. I love it. Thank you so much. So I walked out like this and Robert took one look at me and said, huge improvement. I did. And then I said, is that your own hair? Is that my own hair? <laughs> anyway, I think it's beautiful. Did she put the, she put the jewels back in my hair? Oh, 
it feels it feels like straw to stiff the hairspray, but I think it's gonna stay. I think it's beautiful. I love it. Well, yes, but that's not the, the point. The point is that is exactly, matters. exactly. She should have won. Well, oh, thank she you. Won, but there you go. <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> and now I'm going to get out of my heels because my feet are killing me, and put on some nice, reasonable flats. Yeah, like you. Like, like you. I did about four yeah. hours ago. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't in the best dress competition. Like my stupid <laughs> trainers. <laughs> Your trainers are great. Hush. Happy girl, happy feet. Exactly. And then we're going to Not meet Robert and Chris somewhere and see what we'll do about dinner. Wonderful. That's the plan. Yep, that's the plan. Of course, plans change, so exactly. we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, because we found this hair. It was the most bizarre thing in the world. It was like balls of hair. Right. And I said, to, I said to Kelsey, how much to wear it? And uh, she said she'd do it for a million pounds. Oh, no. And then I said, how about 500,000 pounds? And she said, all right. And I said, 250. She goes, nah. <laughs> well, that's our day. That's our day. Ready to go home. We need to go home. Our cat won't be talking to us. But he'll talk to me. <laughs> he'll talk to you. Because I left him you. food. Oh, okay. He won't talk but he to saw me. it was me that left him food. Ah, you gotcha. didn't, however, leave him food. And therefore, he's going to give you the middle claw. He is. <laughs> We had the most wonderful day. It was so brilliant here. Loved seeing our friends and making new friends. And uh, yeah, that's it from today and Retro